So I'm sure like me, many of you use download it on your streaming device, whether it's a Fire Stick, Android TV, Google TV, even your mobile phone. A lot of people use Downloader. There's a few things you need to check and do to make sure it's working correctly. It doesn't cause issues on your streaming device. And for those who are having problems downloading with it, I'm going to show you a few tricks which will make it work much better for you. And you need to make sure you check on your device. Brilliant. Before we do that, as always, regular watchers, let me know if you've got a notification and let me know what streaming device your guys are on. Let me know what device you guys are using at the moment. And new viewers, if you could hit that follow button, no matter what platform you're watching on. And if YouTube, hit that subscribe button. OK, for those who don't know, Downloader, this is it. This is the app. And we, we use it to install applications um, from the websites, from off, like outside the app stores. OK, so it's a bit like a web browser, but it's got downloadable capabilities on your streaming device, which a lot of other web browsers do not. And when you open up your Downloader, you're inside. And there's a few things in here which will make your life easier and better and can make your device work better. For example, the files section in here, lots of people have loads of files in here. And what this is doing is taking up loads of space on your streaming device. OK, these files in here are not your applications. They are just the install files. So you can delete these. They do not need to be there. OK, I always delete mine straight after installing. But I bet loads of you have got some in there. So let me know if you've got some in there. So what you do, you get your files, you find it, and it says at the top there how to delete. OK, it'll be different on each device. Um, so you can get them out and it will make your device run better and it will keep storage free. And this is where Fire Sticks really um, get loaded up because people think they've got hardly any apps. But why they've got no space left? Mainly because this is normally jammed full of files or download files. OK, so get them deleted. Um, another option is you can add yourself some favorites. So if you do use um, websites regularly, you can use some favorites. So you can add, say, if you use mine. So for instance, if you use your browser or the home section, you can type in your short code here. So mine's 75726. You go to the site. And once you're there, you can go across to the three lines at the top there, click on that, and then you can add that current page to favorites. OK, you can also go full screen and a few other bits, but edit favorites, whatever you want it called, saved. So next time you need to do something, if you're following one of my videos, you go to favorites and there's your option for it. OK, really useful. Another thing a lot of people have issues with on here is how your actual downloads don't work. OK, so they do not install. And that's sometimes to do with the permissions. So if you go into your settings, um, wherever your applications are stored on whichever device you're on, click on applications. Manage your installed applications, for example, on a Fire Stick. You find downloader. And obviously it has certain permissions, um, files and media denied um, obviously you want to allow access to that and remove permissions if app isn't used regularly but ignore that so if you can't make it work that way or stop it you can clear the data just be careful if you clear the data because you any of those favorites you've stored will disappear you can clear that data and it'll be like a fresh install now so when you do open it when these pop-ups come up telling you how to use it everything you need to do and that way you can accept the permissions, OK? And you should be able to get those permissions again. Obviously, I've turned mine on manually. And if any permissions turn on to say um, allow access to storage or anything like that, you have to allow it because downloader needs access to your storage, your files, your media, so it can download those applications and save them. Brilliant. I hope that helps a few of you out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But in the future, it might do. You never know if you start to have issues with your downloader or your storage. Remember, we've got plenty of other videos for you all through the channel. Some are tips, some are guides, some are free movies, TV shows, streaming apps, live sports, all that sort of stuff. So that's my YouTube channel, Doc Swiffy. So hit that subscribe button or come and find me. And a quick word from one of our partners. If you are watching this, um, IP Vanish VPN is available for you at discounted price. They partner with us, help us do what we do. And a lot of people want to use VPNs for their privacy. So that's linked underneath for you if you're watching on YouTube. For anybody else, it's docsquiffy.com 
forward slash VPN offer. Brilliant. So I've been Doc Squiffy. Let me know what your thoughts on that video were. Hit that thumbs up if you made it to the end. And I'll see you on the next one.